Hey, welcome back everyone. Um, I hope you're having a, uh, a great day wherever you are at. It is very cold and windy here. Um, our weather lately has been absolutely insane um, and I have hardly no light in here in this room so I'm really sorry about that. But anyhow, um, I wanted to chat to you today about working towards a goal. Um, we have all heard that patience is a virtue but if you're anything like me you know that patience is a really, really hard thing to master. Um, so as I've hinted to on previous videos, I do have two horses that I ride competitively. Um, we do something called barrel racing. Uh, so this is a video of me on one of my horses. Um, this was taken a few months ago. Uh, this is a super fun sport. Basically, just run as fast as you can around the three barrels and fastest time wins. Um, so, sounds easy, right? But I promise you it is much harder than it sounds and takes a massive amount of training, practice, and physical ability to get to that top level. So, right now we are generally competitive enough to place in the 3 to 4D range. Um, and in this sport, 1D is the fastest, um, and that is where I hope to be um, ultimately. So without boring you with a lot of details, I essentially need to shave off about two seconds to be competitive at that 1D level. And two seconds doesn't sound like a lot, but getting that next two seconds is extremely difficult. But if we can do that and accomplish that, you know, we would be competitive at the top level and we could be potentially competitive at the pro rodeo level. This is where I want to be eventually. I want to be winning or at least competitive, you know, in the 1D range and competitive at pro rodeo level. And I have been all in for this goal the last couple years. I have put a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of energy into trying to accomplish this thing. And we have come a long way over the past few years, and I should be very proud of where we are and what we've already accomplished, and I am certainly very proud of that. But it's going to take even more work, even more energy to get to that next level. So we were actually really making some nice progress earlier this year. Uh, we hit our first pro rodeo, which was a fabulous experience. But then this pandemic happened um, and barrel races and rodeos just like everything else were mostly canceled or postponed. For me what we need to work on is competing, riding well in new arenas, getting used to rodeo environments, etc. We need to put some miles on our tires if that makes sense. So with competitions halted it really halted a lot of the things that I needed to work on and really stalled our progress. So this brings me to this weekend. So some places are starting to open back up barrel races with social distancing precautions. And today there was one about two hours from here. And I was so excited to go there and to make a run after two months of not being able to. But then this happened to my one mare. Sad face. Big sad face to that. So she chipped a spot on her hoof earlier this week and needed a little TLC for a few days. Uh, luckily it wasn't a bad injury, nothing serious. To be honest, she might have even been fine to take to the race this weekend, but I certainly couldn't risk that. Uh, you know, taking care of the animal is and should always be top priority in a sport like this. But I say all of that to point out that it was really, really hard for me to not go this weekend. When we get focused on something that, and when we want something so bad, it's easy to be impatient until we make that thing come to fruition. Being motivated and being driven and having something that we want and we want to go after is such a blessing. That passion towards a goal is special and I believe it can awaken our souls. But it can also breed ugliness too if we allow it. We have to 
be masters at being patient. We have to use good judgment. We have to trust the process even when the process feels very slow. You know, things worth having are not usually easy. Uh, they often take a lot of work, a lot of heartache, a lot of energy, a lot of growing pains. And slow and steady is often the fastest way, even when it feels like the waiting and the process is endless. When we trust the process and just keep moving forward day by day towards what we want, we can eventually get there. We should certainly expect some hiccups, we should expect some disappointments, but we should plan to learn from those experiences. And then also plan to appreciate the journey. Keep a grateful heart. As we're working towards our ultimate goals, there will be so many small victories along the way. Celebrate them, soak them up. Soak up the everydays as you're working towards the bigger picture of what you want out of life. After all, that's what life is, right? Life doesn't begin when we finally reach the top of a mountain that we've been climbing towards. Life is every step on that mountain, whether it's a successful stride or a significant stumble. No matter what your dreams are, go after them. Climb those mountains, but just remember that it's all about one foot in front of the other, one foot at a time. And remember to live and appreciate every step along the way. All right, guys, I hope that you all have a great rest of the day. And please subscribe so I can see you next time. Bye.